Yeah, number 18, interpreta interpretation. Um, interesting profile. Was good in his long cup. Um, made good ground there from the tail. Um, settled a while back. He's ran, well, he won the Benigo Cup last year, obviously, before running sixth in the Melbourne Cup at $41. He was well backed in that Melbourne Cup too uh, last year. Ran sixth. Was a good run. Only beaten 5.35. Where does his Benigo Cup rating, Dave, compare to the Geelong Cup rating this year? Can he improve and, and go a few better than his sixth in the Melbourne Cup this year? So his last year's Bendigo Cup is very similar to how, where he crossed the line in this year's Geelong Cup. There you go. Not, not to the winner. He was 2.3 2 lengths adrift of one smooth operator. The rating. The yep. rating that he ran in both of those races, I've, I've got within certainly within a pound of, wow. of that. So, um, look, I've... I've probably marked him around $26 here. I thought, I, I've just got a note here that he's just a smoky. You know, I've, he's already run top six in the Melbourne Cup. Yep. If you look at his prep ratings, this prep, <coughs> he's actually pretty much improved every run. And then the last two have been solid jumps. And so, you know, where do you plot the next number for this prep? Um, I would probably just default to somewhere similar to where he ran in the, in the, uh, in the Geelong Cup. And that's good enough to be top 10 for sure. So bet in top 10 markets? Yeah, I think so, it's a bet. Yeah, I'm probably a little bit softer. I'm exactly the same. The, the Geelong run is exactly the same as his Bendigo lead up last year. I think he'd probably plot him to his Melbourne Cup run last year. It's his yep. third go at the Cup. And where does that have him? So he ran sixth in the Melbourne Cup, but if he, if he runs to that rating, where have you got the race as a whole? Yeah, so that's not going to cut it. He's yeah, going to yeah. have to, even though strong Melbourne Cup last year, weaker Melbourne Cup this year, even getting him to that number, I see he's about 20 to 1, so mm. a little bit like Akita Sushi, there's a there's a bit of ma magic going on here, there's there's sort of, he sort of looks to me like he's been priced up as if he's going to run his Melbourne Cup race last year with interest. Um, the Bart Cummings, his sectionals in the Bart Cummings were a little clue, so he does have that very Kieran Ma, he's just poking along and I thought, oh gee, I, yep. poor old interpretation sacked that he's gone. Um, sectionals gave you a little clue there in the Bart Cummings and then back to the sort of platform run that we saw last year. So I see that angle, but he looks to me like he's been priced up as if he'll go better than last year by a little bit, and I think that's an optimistic take, so I'm probably on the soft side with him. It's amazing that he was $21 in a Geelong Cup and he was 270 in a Bendigo Cup last year, and he's mm -hmm. gone the same. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it's interesting pricing coming off, because uh, he was obviously coming off a short SP into last year's Melbourne Cup where he started $41, and he's coming off a long SP this year, running a similar rating, and now he's half the price he was last year. So he's 20 to 1 in the Bendigo Cup where one smooth operator is 10s, he gets bashed, and they both come here and Correct. they're 10s and 20s. Uh, well, so they're the same prices in the Melbourne Cup that they were in the Bendigo Cup. That's something... I'm trying to work that out. Something could you, could you say that both are going to drift on the day and, you know, one smooth might be 20 to 1, he might be 50 to 1 on the day. Yeah, well, certainly if everyone sees things like me, and I think they should. They should. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Yeah, fascinating market watch with interpretation. He should get out, but the Mar factor, um, if he is backed, I'll be wary um, and think. If he if he starts $15, I'm scared of him. Yeah, absolutely. I'm scared of him. So, interesting market watch. You're a brave there. guy, so you grit your teeth and you bet through it anyway. Yeah, right? you do. And then you <laughs> leave Flemington with your tail between your legs. Um, <laughs> Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.